Hello everyone, welcome back to Mohana Astrology, Rajshri here and today's video is about Leo moon signs and Leo ascendants and how the upcoming month of August is going to be for you. Before I go ahead, I would like to request to all of you to subscribe to my channel and if you feel that this video is giving you some kind of guidance for the upcoming month, please do like it and share with others as well. Thank you so much in advance. In the month of August, your sign Lord Sun will be placed in your 12th house in the beginning, uh, in the first half till 17th. And this is good if you are trying to relocate to a foreign land. This is good if you are a spiritual person or your work has some kind of connection with foreign countries. Now, in general, Sun, particularly being your sign lord in the 12th house, it indicates some kind of health issues, mental anxiety, temperamental issues, and also high expenditure on yourself. There is a possibility that sleepless nights can bother you as well. Now, having said all these, post 17th sun is coming to your sign so sun in leo is all glorious so you are going to get back your confidence you are going to get back your vitality your health will start to heal your self-esteem rises and you are going to gain back your authority as well jupiter is also aspecting your sign so all in all, it's very nice for your entire well-being. There will be a lot of wisdom in you and there will be an aura of confidence, an aura of wisdom and spirituality as well. Now, when Sun comes to uh, Leo in his multi-cone sign, that's your own sign, on the opposite side, Saturn is also sitting in his own multi-cone sign very powerful and retrograde as well so there is an opposition strong opposition with between sun and saturn after 17th now this has slight uh, negative impact on you now sun in leo has this feeling of i'm invincible my authority is the last word but when Saturn is sitting right opposite, being so powerful, Saturn is giving you a reality check. So be mindful of health issues. Even when Sun comes to Leo in your sign, be mindful of your differences with your business partners, with your spouse. Spouse's health can also cause some worry. Your modest behavior is going to help you to avoid all kinds of unpleasant situation arising in your life. If you have a partnership business, there is a possibility that some differences with the partners or business associates can happen over power and authority. It will be very important to curb your ego, curb your um, high headedness in order to keep peace in your relationship. Since retrograde Saturn is sitting in your seventh house, your spouse will also be quite stubborn in this time. Saturn will be under Mars's aspect from the beginning of the month and then under Sun's aspect. So ill health of the spouse or ego-driven conflicts in married life, all these are all these are strong possibilities in the month of August. There can be health issues uh, to someone in the in-laws family as well. You also need to maintain good relation with them. Meditate to manage your mental tension. As far as your money is concerned, August looks very positive for you. Gains will come through your own might and from investments as well. 
your wishes are going to be fulfilled your ambition is going to be fulfilled in august career wise this month will require some caution it is more so because of venus's condition venus is sitting in your sign and it's retrograde and it's in a highly distressed condition in the month of august after the first week venus will move back to cancer your 12th house and on his way back venus will cross uh, this leo cancer uh, gandanta point which is a turbulent emotionally turbulent point and when venus goes back there before that as well venus is going to get combust from 6th to 20th venus will remain combust so all in all it shows that there will be high expenditure there will be some difficulties uh, popping up in your profession in your career cancer is not a comfortable sign for venus so first of all this will increase your expenses big time some of the expenses will happen on yourself your health then on some unnecessary indulgences as well this can also bring a foreign travel or relocation for you on subconscious level all the suppressed emotions and hidden psychological issues the ones that even you yourself were not aware of will come out now once the coiled up psychological energy of a slesha rises this can be quite disturbing and healing at the same time the release of such emotions are going to help you to emotionally heal in future as well if you are in spiritual practices this retrograde venus in your 12th house can bring some life changing experiences to you the other major event of august being three retrograde planets in the sky saturn and venus are already retrograde and now on 24th mercury is going to retrograde as well mercury is the lord of your finance houses so 24th onwards remain a bit careful about your investments about your savings and also your relationship with your family members and with your friends as well overall this three planets it to grade is prompting you to reassess your relationship your marriage business partnership your career path your finances and what you desire from life the lords of your desire houses are retrograde in august so it will give you an opportunity to make any corrections in these matters take this opportunity since jupiter is also aspecting your sign chances are there that you will take some corrective measures using your wisdom and by seeing the bigger picture of life The month is good for higher education, enrollment in a foreign university or studying abroad uh, in a research oriented field that's also possible. Father's health will be all right in the first half but once Mars moves to your second house his health will need care. Mars in the second house can also cause disharmony in family. and can increase your expenses remain a bit careful of how you say your words overall in this month you will see gains wish fulfillment and also high expenditure so everyone this is what i had to share with you regarding uh, leo ascendants and leo moon signs i hope you found this video Uh, valuable for yourself and this is giving you some kind of guidance to manage the energy of august august is a difficult month there is no doubt about it well, and we need to use our inherent wisdom to manage this energy so wish you all the best for the upcoming month 
and may God bless us all. I'll see you again with another video soon.